Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a small cardboard model of the competitor robot Storm 2. We first saw it in the New Blood competition in the second uh, series of Robot Wars Extreme. They then went on to be runner-up of the Seventh Wars and were also the champions of the Third World Championships. Now this is the Storm 2 that I originally built back when I was a kid. As you can see it's uh, a little bit bent out of shape. The flipper doesn't really work too well anymore, uh, mainly because I took that from an old Action Man toy. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to build a much more upgraded one, and hopefully a lot more sleeker one, and one of course you can get uh, the parts for, because it's a little bit complicated trying to get an old Action Man toy nowadays. In order to build Storm 2 you will need the following. Some silver duct tape, or any duct tape, doesn't really matter. Uh, some scissors, uh, a black pen, a black marker, a silver pencil, and a ruler. And also, of course, some sellotape. You're also, of course, going to need some cardboard to build it with. I prefer a tissue box, mainly because it's nice and tough, robust, and you can draw on it pretty well. You can use any type of cardboard you want, but uh, this is the type of cardboard I prefer. Nice and thin, almost like card, really. And the most important things you're going to need are these, which are the instructions that I've written myself. You can uh, download those and print them off from the address below. And uh, there are two sheets. You will need them both. As you can see, the second sheet also has Storm 2's logos on them as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to open the cardboard. First of all, you're going to open the top section here, like a cereal box, along the flaps there, like that. And do the same to the other side. This then allows you to look through it. Now, you got to find this little join here. See the flap? Right in there. You can't really see it too well. But uh, cut along that side there and split the entire thing in half. Okay, and once you have a cut, as you can see, it opens up flat like that. Now what you're going to do is slice this entire panel off here. See at the bend there? So as you can see now, we have two separate pieces of card. Now you want to get rid of this one, recycle it, stick it in the bin. And uh, this is the piece of cardboard we are going to be dealing with. Okay, now we're ready to go. So you're going to want to take your instructions you printed off, and you're going to want to draw both sheets of paper, everything that's on it, onto this piece of cardboard here. And when you've done that, it should look like this. Uh, it's just a little guideline, uh, I wouldn't say this is an actual rule, but keep all the parts from the first page of the instructions on this side, and all the parts on this side, because of course the uh, first instructions page was the body, and the second instruction page was the flipper. So try to keep those in half. Uh, also, once you've done that, make sure you colour all your bits in, add all the detail, like the wheels, colour in parts that are black, black, etc, etc. All the parts that are silver, silver. And then what you want to do is lay it flat down on the surface here. You want to take your sellotape, which is here, and you want to cover the entire front of this section with all your designs on it in sticky tape. So coat the whole thing, and then meanwhile on the back, you want to cover it in duct tape. This is going to make it nice and thick and robust. So get your tape out, and just flatten it down there. This will give it a lot more support. Now the next thing you want to do is cut all your shapes out. Okay, and once you have all those cut out, as you can see on the front they're nice and laminated which protects them from damage and on the back they're all covered in duct tape which makes them nice and strong and robust. Now we're going to start putting it together. So first of all you want to take your back panel here and attach it to this. As you can see it's now taped into place. Now you're going to add your side panels. Okay, so as you can see, Storm 2 is now sort of starting to take shape. Now you're going to add your front support, which is this section here, and it fits right across the front of Storm 2. Okay, now that's attached. Remember to remove this section at the front here. Now we're going to add the front section here. And once that's been attached, you're going to want to add these little triangles here, which fit on either side of the front scoop. Alright, now it's time to add your internal side supports, which fit inside here, on either side. And as you can see, whenever they're attached, it gives the inside a little bit of a pyramid look. 
And this is just to make sure it's nice and tough and robust whenever you smash it into other robots. Because of course Storm 2 is a pusher and it hits other machines at great speed. So when you're playing you don't want to crumple your Storm 2 in the process. So I could say this is just to give it a lot more strength. Okay, you can now set this to one side because we're going to start working on the flipper. Now first of all you want to take your flipper bottom and attach both your flipper sides uh, to either side, like so. Okay, and as you can see, you have this sort of arrow shape now. Also, don't forget to attach your flipper bottom here. And uh, you want to fold all these sections up and tape that into place. Okay, now it's all taped into place. You can add your top panel here. And now that that's in place, as you can see, the flipper is almost complete. You're going to add your little front section, which is this, just to there. And remember to add a little bit of a tiny lip at the front here, just so you can get some purchase whenever you're flipping other robots. Okay, and with that, your flipper is now complete. This should then slot into place inside Storm 2 here. So you can see it can flip up and down. Now, in order to attach the flipper, you want to take your little uh, flipper hinges here, and uh, you want to take a bit of sellotape and put it onto it. Wrap this around so that it's tight in place, like so. And this gives you little tabs, which allow you to use as hinges. Okay, attach your little hinge to the back of the flipper here, with one half, so that it moves upward like that. And go and do the same with another little piece of card, same thing like this, and attach it further up the flipper. Okay, and once you've done that, this is where it gets complicated. As you can see, both panels are sticking out here. Take another piece of sellotape and place it over the other bit of sellotape that's hanging from the bit of sellotape that was on the little bit of card there. I know it's kind of hard to even say, let alone do. Uh, and you also want to do this with your back hinge as well. Then as you can see, whenever you slot the flipper into place, the sellotape should keep it in place, which means that it can now flip upward. And as you can see, little tags are held in place. Now that the flipper's in place, you're going to add your top panel. Now see this little white section here? You're going to cut that out. This is then going to leave you with two separate panels here, which can then be attached to the top of Storm 2. And as you can see with the top panel on, Storm 2 is now pretty much complete. There is of course one thing missing, his logos. Like I said before, oh, sorry. Like I said before, these can be... What is wrong with this camera? Anyway, these can be printed off from the second page of the instructions. As you can see, there are two of them. These two are for the side panels. These two are for the front and the bottom. Okay, now Storm 2 is looking well with this little uh, logo on the sides and bottom. Now when it comes to the top, you're going to want to be careful because, of course, the flipper blade lifts up in the middle. So take your little Storm 2 logo, put it onto the front, and where the flipper blade is, Bend it around it, kind of center it, bend it around it using your, th your uh, thumbs so you can see I've now created two little creases in it. You want to cut those out along that line so as you can see whenever you attach them it still says Storm 2 but the front flipper can still flip out and when it returns into place it doesn't look out of shape. I would recommend whenever you split it into three put the OR and the 2 onto the flipper blade first then you can add the ST and the M on either side just so it looks in place and it gives you kind of a guide. Okay and as you can see Storm 2 is now constructed and here he is next to his older counterpart that I built as a child. As you can see I think this Storm 2 looks a lot more accurate don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so as you can see, flipper it all works. You can just flip it by uh, grabbing it at the top here. As you can see, there's a little bit of a lip. You can just use it and pull it, and the flipper lifts up into place and down again. And uh, it's quite tough, quite strong. You can use it to flip about. So uh, thanks very much for watching this, and uh, good luck when you try to build it. If you do try to build it, I'd, I'd love to see it. So if you could make a video of it and stick it online, that would be fantastic. Uh, also, if you want a challenge, there's also a how to make your own bear moth online. As you can see, it's in scale with Storm 2. <laughs> so you can uh, have a go at building both of those. So thanks very much for watching, and I uh, hope you like this video. 
Uh, also, a few other points to note as well. Uh, this The Storm 2 that I've built is black, whereas in the show, I think it was a really, really dark green. It was a weird color. So uh, if you want to try building it that color, that's absolutely fine. You can go ahead and do that.